we should say also the situation here in uh, Minnesota, in Minneapolis right now, taking the national stage. You know, Vice President Mike Pence headline night three of the Republican National Convention. And that was it, overshadowed. Uh, well, not overshadowed, but uh, in addition to pandemic, civil unrest, what's happening in Wisconsin. And now what's happening in Minneapolis again, not to mention the fact there's a massive hurricane heading for the southern coast of the U.S. The vice president accepted the nomination at uh, Fort McHenry in Maryland which is, of course, the fort uh, that is famous for inspiring the Star-Spangled Banner. Pat Kessler had a chance to watch those convention events. Did Minneapolis come up, Pat? Yeah, it really did. Uh, this is a very big deal, civil unrest all around the country. In addition to all of these chaotic events that you're mentioning, Frank, Pence's big night, though, comes as uh, civil unrest is continuing in cities like Minneapolis, like Kenosha, and he did condemn the violence in Kenosha and Minneapolis and vowed to impose law and order. Last week, Joe Biden didn't say one word about the violence and chaos engulfing cities across this country. So let me be clear. The violence must stop, whether in Minneapolis, Portland, or Kenosha. Too many heroes have died defending our freedom to see Americans strike each other down. We will have law and order on the streets of this country for every American of every race and creed and color. And so on a night of racial tension and violence, Republican speakers throughout this convention night stuck to their law and order convention theme. South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem attacking violent mobs, she said, in cities run by Democrats. Democrat-run cities across this country are being overrun by violent mobs. The violence is rampant. There's looting, chaos, destruction, and murder. People that can afford to flee have fled, but the people that can't, good, hard-working Americans are left to fend for themselves. And a couple of other highlights. A longtime presidential counselor, Kellyanne Conway, who is resigning, described a seldom-seen, softer side of the president. And daughter-in-law, Lara Trump, portrayed a warm and caring Trump family. But I can't overestimate this, Frank and Amelia. The biggest issue of the night is law and order, and it brings it right home here in Minneapolis, uh, over in Kenosha, Wisconsin, all over the country. That's what people are talking about. And although it's very controversial, uh, this law and order theme is what Republicans are sticking with. And I guess it might be resonating with a lot of people around the country. I wonder, Pat, will it resonate in different terms? Because I, I, I think what people see George Floyd, and it's heartbreaking. Uh, but what happened tonight um, was a sad situation where a man, a murder suspect, took his own life. And the result is 18 or 20 businesses torn apart. I, 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 is it to the point where it's all so uh, conflated together that no one can tell a difference? Or, or should there be a difference determined on that? Yeah, you know, I'm really glad you brought that up, Frank, because it's a really important point. While a lot of people are talking about in this political environment, law and order, and that's going to be the theme for Republicans in this presidential campaign, what is happening is that they are not addressing the racial disparities in the Republican Party. Racial disparities, that's not what they're talking about. So why is a black man being shot in the back is what a lot of people are asking. Why are black men going down? Why is protest? happening in the major sports in this country until something is fixed. That's a really important point. Uh, but things appear to be spinning into infinity, politically, emotionally, uh, with violence all around the country, when everything else is happening, the middle of a pandemic, a hurricane hitting the country. So it's a very good point to bring up. We should all just take a step back and look at each one of these things and see what they have to do with one another.